Hello, welcome to Dan's Origami. In this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these, which is a spiky custom ball. Ideal for decorations or just showing off your skills. This is made from six pieces of paper and this one is made from paper 9 by 9 centimeters. I made a big one so you can see the difference. This one's 19 by 19 centimeters, six modules. But that, I think that's a bit not so very nice. I think this is the size you should be making, which is 9 by 9 centimeters. As I said, it's six pieces of paper. If you're going to make a Christmas tea decoration out of this one, green's probably not the best colour. But well, let's get rid of him. A couple of modules there ready to share to put them together. Let's show you how to make the module. First things first, we want to make a water bomb base. So we're going to do two diagonal folds. That's your first. And then we unfold that and do one in the opposite direction. And there's your second. And then we turn the whole thing over and we do the two straight folds, like so. Open that out, turn it 90 degrees and do your second straight fold. There we go. So now when we open this out and we kink it in the opposite direction, we push all four of our straight edges down and our diagonal edges stay up. So we've got like an arrow head. Put two either side and squash it flat and that's our water bomb base. So what we've got is we've got a point on the top, an open side on the bottom and four flaps. So what you're going to do with each of these four flaps is you're going to make a crease here which is halfway along that line. So you're going to fold that point to that point making sure that it starts the center point. So I'll put my finger there and fold that up. Like that. Increase that flap. So I'm going to quickly do the other four. If you can't keep up just pause the video and then once you've got all four done the same unpause it. So let's quickly do those. Right, that's all four of those done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to undo that last fold that we just did. All four of those back to our water bomb base. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put another fold in here, halfway between this fold point and the top. So hold in the center again, like that. Line the center lines up, squash that flat. All right, if you want to pause the video again to do all four of those, just quickly do that. And I will do these quite quickly. third one and your fourth right back to our water bomb base we've now put in two sets of folds which are going to make things a lot easier later on All right, we've got another two sets of folds to go on first and we're going to from the top fold there to the edge we're going to go from that point to that point with this whole top here so I'm going to put both my fingers there to hold that down and I'll fold that over Squash that flat, Undo, unfold that one, and then we're going to fold the top point to that center line that we've just made. And we'll squash that one flat too, and unfold that one. Now, undo the whole water bomb base and put it flat. Right, and what we've done is we've got all the folds ready to make our module with. Uh, this center square, we've got two squares in the center, but this center one is going to go down whereas the edges are all going to go up and then we'll put it back into its water bomb base shape so pinch all four of these lines to make them mounting folds like that and then hold it as if you're converting the water bomb base push that down take your time on this bit because this bit's fiddling but what you're going to see is this one of these lines are going to want to come up and the rest will want to go down. You see how that, that one's moving up like that? To get it to come together. And then pinch them together like that. Put two flaps either side and pinch that. And put it down back to our water bomb base. That, believe it or not, was the easy fold. Now let's do the hard fold. We put it to right angles. 
this line here is going to become a valley fold so we're going to take our top section and we're going to turn that into a valley fold there and what we did previously is we put two sets of creases in and this crease here is going to become a mounting fold so we put we turn that into a mounting fold like that and if you look underneath this there will be a similar one so you turn the other one into a mounting fold as well once they're both in a mounting fold this other crease should be a straight line and you fold that over right so we're going to do exactly the same again center line our first crease our first crease gets turned into a mounting fold like that and then the corresponding crease behind your flap gets turned into a mounting fold as well and then we turn that over along the straight line it should leave it flat like that right so that was quite hard so I'm going to show you the other side again this line here becomes a valley fold we pick our first layer up just reassert the mount valley fold a little bit Right, we've got a centre line there, and our first crease becomes a mountain fold, like that. And then the corresponding crease behind your flap becomes the same. And then the straight line, we fold out. Right, so we do the same again on our last section. So our centre line and then our first crease becomes a mountain fold. If at any point you're struggling in one of these videos, just pause it, rewind it a little bit and go back. So now our second crease is a straight line, we fold that part out and you should end up with both sides looking like squares and all your details in the middle. Let's squash that flat and neaten it up a little bit. Right, so what you've ended up with now with is four outside flaps and four inside flaps. Holding two outside flaps and two inside flaps on one side, and two outside flaps and two inside flaps on the other side, you're going to invert it. So instead of it being that way, it's now that way. And then we're going to redo all the centre creases right, just like that and now we've got two last folds and the module is complete we should have on the bottom it should be a piece like that and you fold your top layer up along the halfway mark which will already be creased so it should be reasonably simple and you score that flat turn the whole thing over and then you do your last fold along the centre line fold the bottom up like that and that is your complete module. So just to make it look like a complete module, if we hold each of the flaps individually and make it back into an arrowhead, and then open it up a little bit, you can see the module. Right, put the modules together. So as I said, you want six of these. If you're making it this size, the big size was 19 by 19 centimeters. you might want to use a little bit of glue because it doesn't quite hold itself together. But the little size like this will hold itself together. Right, so these are our flaps that point in. And the pointing in bit goes underneath that bit just there. So let's put this yellow one in the orange one. So it goes underneath that flap and you push them as far together as they'll go. Right, red one into the orange one, put the red flap underneath the orange part, and then we'll do the last one just to show you how to put them together, put the yellow one into the red one, so put the yellow underneath the red like that. And that's three put together, it's reasonably strong. Right. So when you're constructing them, try and think of six sides of a dice, and that will help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe. There should be a button just there. Thank you very much.